All right, um, Shalom. As always, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Uh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And uh, also honor and salutations to those of you who are of the hopeful elect and are out there teaching the word of sincerity and truth. Um, all right, so we're back. Uh, another lesson, another, another sit down lesson. If you're um, if you're not talking, just mute your mic so there won't be too much feedback. Um, so we're we're back with another lesson. Uh, we just were discussing off camera uh, what we want to talk about, and this this in, this topic in particular has been on my mind. Um, so I wanted to talk about it, and and, and maybe my spirit will allow me to uh, move on from it. But um, uh, it's it's the it's the topic of. A uh, couple, couple different things that kind of combine into one, but mostly um, people having a problem uh, with authority and in being under some kind of rule to maintain uh, a level of order and decency in what it is you do. Um, we have to remember, um, and, and, and and you know, I, I say that I say, I'm saying I'm speaking this to GMS. We have to remember that. We're under a certain rule, right? But in general, is what I want to say. Anything you do in life, whether it be your job, whether it be school, if you play for uh, some kind of athletic, some sports team, no matter what you do, is always going to be confined to a certain standard and a certain rule. And we gotta, we we have to maintain that. And the mess the message for me personally is if you have a problem with that, then then move on to move on to other things and, and do your own thing. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't go out on the highways and byways and teach the word, but it just means that you gotta be away from us, right? Um, I, I mentioned this before, uh, but I'll say it again. I had a, a my high school basketball coach, he always talked about um, toxic players. And what he what he meant by a toxic player was someone who wanted to be outside of the box and do its own, and do his own thing, and because of that toxicity, it it spreads to the rest of the team, and then they start to become rebellious. So he was he was all about getting rid of the toxic players at the beginning of the season when that those first couple of weeks of training camp uh, started. He picked out those toxic players and he got rid of them, and it didn't matter how talented they were. Didn't matter how many uh, baskets they could score, he got rid of them because the the cohesiveness of the team meant more to him than having some super talented guy. Go ahead, you guys say you want to say something. I got a quick precept. Just as you said that, um, real quick, put it on the screen. This is Galatians five and nine. It says, "A little leaven, leaven, leaven if the whole lump." Right, a little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. Right. And that's just a, a, a an ode to any 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 little rift that you have in the system, or you could say it this way too: you're only as strong as your weakest link, right? If you got a, a weak link in the chain, that means the whole chain is weak, not just that that link. The whole chain is weak because they're all cogs to the same system, you know. And so that's a that's a great precept to to bring out. And so right now, what you're seeing in Israel is uh, a sifting. Elder Apostle Ramlob talked about it. Uh, Elder Apostle, Tal well, all the apostles, you know, have spoken about it. There's been some elders who have um, done shows about it. We're we're in a time of 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 combing through, right? If you think I don't know if you brothers how how deep into you get into uh, combing your beards, but you let's say you you know you wash your beard out and you comb it out and you get those little stragglers inside the comb. What do you do? You pull them stragglers out of the comb and then you throw them in the trash, right? And that's what's being happening right now. The Lord is putting that comb through to get those stragglers and get rid of them. And then what they're gonna, what's gonna happen is they're gonna be picked out of the comb and be thrown away, right? And so that's that's what you're seeing. And we notice every time around this time of year, there's a a, a grouping of people that get swept swept away and swept out, and it's it's really a time of reflection to ask yourself is this what i want to do because those are the people the people that are committed the people that can make that commitment are the people that are usually the ones who stay in and and, and proceed in the truth so um 
whatever whatever scripture comes first, whatever whatever brothers want to read, they can go ahead and read. Yeah, I got some real quick because you said the sifting. Uh, I got a Amos nine and uh, I get right to the point nine. Amos nine and nine. For lo, I will come in, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right now, this now this is talking about you know sifting Israel from the other nations, but we can also use the scripture to speak to how the Lord is going to take the nation of Israel and also sift us as well from from each other, or let me let me not say from each other, but sift out the bad uh, uh, grain from from our body, mm -hmm. right? And it's it, again every time during this time of year it happens, right? There were some some person who's had an issue and kept it inside their heart. Um, now when, when Passover comes along, the, the heavenly father, you know, pushes them away, you know, and we have to make sure, um, through, through prayer, essentially that our hearts are pure in that way. You pray to the Lord and whatever that spirit is on you, you feel like, uh, you're being wronged or something is happening that you don't like. You pray that spirit off of you so that you can continue to, to move as you always move, you know, cause we got to remember we know the truth because the spirit of the heavenly father put the spirit on the apostles to teach us this truth. Uh -huh. it's, not by, it's not by accident. We didn't learn this of ourselves. So we have to remember that we learned that from somebody. You know? I, I got a quick precept just to back the brother mm -hmm. up. A sifting, um, a, a sifting, uh, precept. This is uh, Luke 22 and 31. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may mm -hmm. sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted, Strengthen thy brethren. That's it. That's it. Right. And that's and that's we all we all we have to pray for ourselves, but we also have to pray for each other. Mm -hmm. That that spirit of Satan doesn't overtake the brethren, the minds and hearts of the brethren, and pull them away. And what mm -hmm. did he say? And he said, he says, um, he said, When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So the Lord said, Look, I'm praying for you, right? I'm praying for you. Um because Satan wants to pull you out like wheat. He wants to sift you like wheat. So once that, that demon comes up off you, now you now it's your duty to pray for the brother. And that's and that's true, man. That's true. I think a lot of times we for, we forget to pray, right? Because it's especially especially for those of us who didn't grow up um praying, it's a it's a it's not it's not an odd thing i, I don't want to say it's an odd thing but it, it's not it's not something that you're normally used to right you you're in your in your mind especially if you're an older man you I, I, hey i got something i gotta do i gotta handle this myself but the 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 key is prayer if you look if you look through the scriptures prayer answered a lot of what was happening to certain people man God. we yep. can't we can't forget to pray uh pray that you said that to you said that to me on sunday Tazi, yo. Said, yeah, yeah. Prayer, you said prayer works, brother. Yeah, that's what you said to me, and it's and it's and it's very true. There's been times, and and it, and it don't have to be super duper complex prayers. Mm -hmm. Something simple, you know, something simple. But as long as you pray for it in sincerity, as long as it's specific, and as long as you use those names, those prayers are going to be answered, man. Uh, in this case, and in this case, we have to pray those demons off of us mm -hmm. to, and we got to make sure that we stay all in the same spirit uh any any, any other scriptures you got real quick i just want to add on to that too because mm -hmm. you know as we get closer and closer to the end that's when satan works even harder and harder and harder and it goes back to when the lord's talking about basically being weak right satan plays upon your weaknesses so if you have mm -hmm. a, a a thought process or you have something that wasn't settled or you didn't get out and it's lingering in your mind satan will come and he'll bring that back to the forefront you know, and that's what can get you all thrown off again and, and ultimately thrown out, you know. That's right. That's right. Somebody go to um, somebody go to um, I think it's Matthews, the fourth chapter. It's, it's, it's a powerful what you just said, because Satan knows your weaknesses, man. Yeah. He, know, he knows those weak points. And the scriptures say that the Lord Yahweh Shai was tempted as all men are tempted, but without sin. Right. So when you read this, right, what is what is Satan doing? Satan is touching on those weaknesses, touching on those things that he knew that the Lord Yahweh Shai would, would 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 have to you know really dig deep into to 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 fight, but he knew he knew what those weaknesses were. So let's let's read a little bit of this. Come on. 
In Matthew 4, I'm starting at verse, uh, verse 1, it says, mm -hmm. Then was Yahweh shot led up in the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Mm -hmm. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. Right. So so, so Satan waited for his, his weakest moment. He waited for the Lord's weakest moment, right? He's fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. And when it was it's when it's when it was at its peak, that hunger and that thirst was at its peak, that's when Satan came, man. You know, go ahead. Verse three. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of God, command these stones be made bread. Mm -hmm. And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live off live by bread alone, but right. every word that proceeded out of the mouth right. of the So 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 as you'll you'll notice a theme here in this chapter that the Lord Yahweh Shai used scripture to combat satan and what he was giving him man and those two things scripture and prayer those two things are what alleviate you from those demons man that's right keep going verse five it says then the devil taketh him up into a holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple mm -hmm. and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself okay. down for right. it, is, it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands, they shall bear thee up. At least at, at, at any time, thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Right. So, so he was he was challenging him, man. Mm -hmm. He was saying, "Oh, oh, you you the, you the son of God, huh? Well, well, let's 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 see if you can do this, mm -hmm. right?" So he was he was challenging him, man. Mm -hmm. And that's and it it wouldn't be right if the demons didn't challenge us as well. The scriptures mm -hmm. say that the the servant is not greater than his master. So we're going to have some of these same challenges. You're going to feel like the apostle said something wrong. You're going to feel like somebody wronged you, right? You're going to feel like, oh, this is, this is, this is overdoing it. Those things are going to happen to you, but the, but, but it's your duty to make sure that you use those two things, prayer and scriptures to get those evil thoughts out of your mind. I got, I got a quick piece up. This is mm -hmm. uh, second Ezra 14 and uh, 14. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature, right? And mm -hmm. set aside the thoughts that are most heavy onto thee and haste mm -hmm. thee to flee from these times. That's it, man. That's it. And what that speaks to is, you know, a level of focus that you got to have, man. That's right. Because you, you're going to have, there's going to be things that fuck with you. You start, you you start thinking about things that you did before you even got in the truth. And then that'll take you into thinking like, damn, I wonder what I would have, what I did in my last life. And you start to, you start to let those burdens weigh on you. But again, we're giving you the two tools to, to get through those things. One is prayer and one is the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. When you stay immersed and that's, that's ultimately, that's what baptism is, right? Because what does the word baptism mean, right? It goes back to the, the Greek word, uh, baptismo, which means to be immersed. So if, when you immerse yourself in those scriptures, when you immerse yourself in prayer, you baptize yourself and you get those things up off you. Man. You clean those things up off you. You know, if I may, if I may mention real quick too, mm -hmm. going back to Matthew, the fourth chapter, when he mentioned about uh, that, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. He was speaking mm -hmm. of uh, Satan was speaking of uh, Psalms, the 91st chapter. Mm -hmm. So it's shown you that they, he knows the scriptures and there's people that's going to come to you providing scriptures as well. But you, once again, like you said, prayer and studying yep. the scriptures is what's going yep. to give you the understanding to see if this man is truth or this man's yep. a lie. Right. And, and if you look at these, uh, these, these, these treasonous credence, I'll say these men that were once a part of GMS and decided that they wanted to part ways and do their exposés, they know the scriptures, right? Right. So so those so those people who are easily swayed will say, Well, this that scripture makes sense. Well that what they're saying makes sense. So they gotta be right. Yeah. And, and those things can de even deceive the very person that's delivering those things, man. You know? Yeah, I got I got a quick one just to back up what you just said, Elder. Um mm -hmm. Romans sixteen, verse uh, seventeen. Mm -hmm. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses. Contrary to the doctrine which he have learned and avoid them. That's right. Mark them which cause divisions and 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 what's the last part? Avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from them, man. Yeah. And because it, it's it's why why like at the at the here's at the end I was watching this video um that got sent around on a on a group chat. 
Uh, this guy, I'm, I think he was the, the head of a, one of the camps in, in Georgia. Which camp, I don't know. Um, at, this, at this particular time, I don't care. But um, he was bringing up something that happened 12 years ago, damn near. Mm-hmm. Right? And so, and so here it is. You had this problem with this the whole time. And now that we're getting to the end of this thing, right? Now you want to, now that you, now you have a problem with that. Now that we're getting closer to the end, now that it's time to, 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 to hunker down and dig into those last few legs of the race. Now you have a, a, a problem with that. I got, I got a quick scripture. Mm-hmm. The first John two and 19. Mm-hmm. I also still have some more in that Romans too. Yeah, we'll oh, go back. Not, bro. No, it's all yeah, good. Let's go to um, first John, and then we'll go back to that one. Hey, come, come, come. Uh, yeah. read up uh, uh, eighteen. All right, okay. come. On. First John two and eighteen. It says, "Little children, it is the last time, as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now, there are many anti Antichrist or anti Amashiach. Mm-hmm. Says, mm-hmm. whereby we we know that that it is the last time." They went. They went out from us, but were, they were not of us. Mm-hmm. But it is. It, it is. But if they had been with us, of us, they would have, no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Yeah. So that's that's what you're starting to see, and that's how you know that this is absolute the last time, man, because now it's amongst the circle. Before we can, we can deal with everybody from the outside, but now what's happening is it's like a pimple getting popped. Now it's coming to the head, and now more than ever, you're going to start seeing these men getting thrown out into outer darkness, so to speak, you know, because mm-hmm. they lost their way. They didn't have the light. And like the, the elders always say, you can trick men, but you can't trick the Holy Spirit, man. That's right. That's right. And Ananias and Sapphira figured that out. Yeah, you know, and I've always said this too, man. And when I when I heard Second Peter's three, when they talked about um, this shall come in the last days, scoffers. Matter of fact, let's let's pull that up too. Mm-hmm. When I whenever I whenever I thought of this scripture, I I thought of scoffers as people that were on the outside, people that were you know outside of us, um, yeah. talking talking their shit. Little did I ever know, or or did I ever think, or did it ever cross my mind? That that the scoffers would be those of our own people, man, and not and and even deeper than our own people, people that were in camps amongst us that would be the biggest scoffers. It's it's, it's incredible to hear. Yeah. yeah. Second Peter's three and three says, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and th- and that's that's a key there, walking after their own lusts. Just in, in their heart, well, I think it's this, or well, I think it should be this way, or the elders is going off, or the apostles are going off, and and you're just doing that, or you're saying those things based on your own lusts and feelings, not mm-hmm. based on what the spirit is doing. Keep going. Verse four, in saying, Where's the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the of the creation. Right. And th- and this is the same type of shit that our people talk, right? Not not necessarily wondering when the last days are, when the Lord is coming, but more so worried about um, doctrinal things. And in and, and the times where maybe a man may have misspoke and they just waiting for something, something bad to be said. And, and matter of fact, what's that scripture where the Lord told the men to, to eat his flesh and drink his blood? And it was kind of like, oh, I, I can't fuck with this shit. What's that scripture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type it in. Let me see. Was it a John six, right? I can't remember, brother. Um, Let's see if it comes up here. Uh, John six and fifty. Fifty one. Let's see. Fifty eight. You start at fifty. Fifty six. Fifty four. Well, yeah. Let's, let me let me let me look. Yeah, you can start up though. That brother, scroll yeah, a little too fast. I'm I'm <laughs> yeah. Um. You want me to start? Yeah, yeah. Hit start at fifty three. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna touch on this. We're gonna touch on this one a little bit. Come on. And then we'll, what's right, that come. other one you had on deck, bro? That that you had a little bit more. Of? 
Oh, it was uh, still uh, Romans, the 16th okay. chapter. Okay, yeah, we'll go back to that. Con, after, after right. this oh. one, yeah. con, con, uh, John, you said start at uh, 53. 53. 53, yeah. 53, yeah. All right, John, John 6, verse 53. Then Yahweh Shai sent unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. <laughs> they probably was like, what? <laughs> yeah, but the but the but the ones who, who questioned it were the ones that were already looking for a reason to stop mm. pushing the word. They were already looking for an excuse, and the Lord knew this. They were already looking for a reason to leave, and the Lord gave them one, you know. Keep going. Con, uh verse 54. Uh whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Mm -hmm. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna. Uh, Salah, let me read that again. Not as your fathers did eat manna. And are dead, but he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. All right, let's, now let's, let's 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 keep going down to fifty nine. See what the the disciples said. Yeah, Khan. Um, these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Cap uh, Capernaum. Uh, many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, "This is a hard saying. Who can hear it?" <laughs> it was like, yo, this is he said, all right, man, this this dude going he done gone too far now. You know, because you, you think you think about this, right? You 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 lost your girl, you lost your kids, you lost your family, and now you kind of you kind of getting in the groove and you're going, and those things hurt you, right? Those things that you lost, they hurt you a bit, and you kind of you kind of reluctant, you're you building up some reluctancy. But then he says this, he they go, Oh shit, yeah, I can't. This is it, man. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm out of here, you know. Go ahead. Con, verse uh, 61, when Yahawashai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, does this offend you? Mm -hmm. And what, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. Right, the he's, so, he, so he's telling them, look, I'm saying these things in the spirit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing, so I'm not telling you to actually eat this thing man understand this in the spirit mm. right keep going con uh it is the spirit that quickened the mm -hmm. flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are the spirit and they are right. life right so these these are spiritual things i'm speaking to you i'm not telling you to actually Can't eat it be. yeah i ain't <laughs> telling you to eat my i'm not gonna take a piece of my skin and you and hand it hand it to each brother these are spiritual things i'm speaking to you Go ahead. Con, yeah. Verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. Mm. For you. But there are some of you that believe not. So you are you was already you didn't you'd already didn't believe in this thing. Your faith already wasn't being exercised. So Satan gave you exactly what you need, or in this case, the Lord gave you exactly what you needed to, to part ways, man. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, for Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believed yeah. not and who yeah. should betray him. Right. So he already knew. He already knew. He knew that by saying these words, it would it would offend them enough where they would want to move on. Right. So and, and so and this was some of the 70, man. Right. So you're going to see you're going to see men that was amongst the body. Right. That may have heard something that they didn't like or experienced something that they didn't like. And parted ways, man, and use yeah. those things as an excuse to to move on. Uh, like um, like Elder Adama says, suicide by scripture. Yes, sir. They just, they, they just looking for a way out, man. And it's, it's, and my, my thing is, just just go. No one's no one's stopping you. If you feel like if you feel like we're wrong, there really shouldn't be any guilt. Just just going about your business. Just leaving, going about your business. Why do you have to have a reasoning or an excuse? To part ways from us, just go. If you mm -hmm. don't believe it, if you don't have the faith that it takes to maintain your stay here, then move on. You know, 
it goes it goes to speak to uh jude jude one one and four you know you grabbed that yeah book of jude chapter one says uh, and four says for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Yeah, so from the beginning, you know, when they jumped in this thing, they didn't count the cost. And they kept on rolling and rolling with it. And then it turned bitter to them, you know. And for whatever, for whatever reason, they leave us, they leave us, and then they, they have an art against us. But it's nothing to fight against us for. What we didn't do anything. That was already that was your your pre uh destination from the beginning. And you know how sometimes you, you might have joined something and you know that ain't for you, but you try to roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> many a time, many a time. And then, when I, when I, before then, I got into the truth, I was uh so like I didn't mean to cut you off, brother. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Uh, before, before I got into the truth, I was I was into all kind of internet businesses and all, all kind of shit, <laughs> man. And when I was doing, I was like, oh, yeah. Feeling this shit, but I, I couldn't. There was nothing that could pull me away until you know I got to the truth, and that's what you know finally got me got me out of here. Done. Done. Yeah, yeah, man. You want to go back to um? Was that was you done on uh, John six, or you want to go back to uh, Romans? Yeah, John six is cool. Let's go back to uh, was that Romans sixteen? Uh, Tells the world. Yeah, yeah, kind, kind. I'll read it again from uh from uh seventeen, uh Romans sixteen. And uh, 17, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause of division and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Mm -hmm. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive right. the hearts of the simple. That's it, man. That's that's perfect, man. That's perfect. They, they, they're doing this to fill their own belly, man. That's it. That's all they're doing to fill their own belly. Whenever you hear somebody say, I was this or this happened to me and I don't think this and I don't like that, they, they're, they're a narcissist, man. And they're not thinking of the bigger picture. They're not getting far enough away from the tree to see the whole forest. It's not about you. It's not about me. We came here to serve. That's it. Serve yeah. and that's it. And not yourself. We are servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We are mere pawns on a chessboard, and we can only move the way the spirit is causing us to move. It's not about us. And sometimes I, I'll, I, I can admit that. Sometimes you forget about that. Sometimes you forget about that because, again, the scriptures say that knowledge puffeth up. So when you start to learn and you start to know certain things and, and people in your, in your everyday life are asking you questions and you're giving this good advice based on what the scriptures say, you get bolstered up in, inside yourself, right? So understanding that you got to come back down and realize that you are in a position of servitude. It's not about you. We're here to usher in the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and that's it. And we we can only we can only hope that we are joint heirs with the Lord Yahweh Shai, and that we will have a piece of that rulership. But that's not that rulership is not promised to any one of us for this job. We don't know. We can only hope that we get that. But the job is to push the word. The job is to be consistent. The job is to be in order. The job is to remember who taught us this truth and to maintain those things that we were taught, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just read one more verse. Mm -hmm. uh, for your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I'm glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise until that which is good and simple concerning evil. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. That's it. That's all you need to do is be obedient. The Lord, the Lord makes it easy for us, man. It's a very simple, simple formula. There's no, there's no need to overcomplicate over it and do more than what's necessary. You know. Oh, hey, Salak here, bro. Because I know we brought up, uh, you know, when Satan tempted the Lord. I, I just read verse twenty, then. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the and the power or the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. And the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach be with you, Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh, I got something real quick. Titus two, 
we'll jump jump down. Uh, start at verse 13 and read down to 15. And it says, um, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power in our Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who mm -hmm. gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. That's it, man. That's it. There's a there's a a, a level of authority that has been uh, given, not not only to us, right, but 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 in particular to the apostles. They have a, a certain level of authority that was given to them, and 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 they, in exercising that authority, sometimes may say and do things that you might not like. But you can't be sensitive in this truth, man. And and remembering that it's not about you will remove you from that sensitivity. Somebody get um Galatians. I'm not I'm sorry, not Galatians, Acts 15 and 24. This is from the brother Yana guy who put that up. Uh somebody pull that up, Acts 15 and 24. Oh, all you gotta do is click on it and it shows up right there, huh? Oh, oh, that's this, bad is Acts, this is top Acts. level right here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. This is Acts 15 and 24. It says, For as much as we have heard that certain which went out of us have troubled you with words, subverting your soul, saying... Right, right. So there, there are certain of us, right? I mean, I'm sorry. Let me see. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words. That's what they do. They get in the whispering in your ears. Oh, yeah, I think you should be the head of the camp. Or, or what have you. Whatever, whatever it is that they might... Um, be whispering in your ear, sub subverting your soul, right? Go ahead, keep going. To subvert your soul, saying you must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom right. we gave no com uh, no such commandment. <clears throat> right. right. So, in this case, right, it was about the how many or what law should be kept, right? In this case, in Acts, right. But now, in this time, other these men are saying other kinds of things. You know, the apostles are going off. Matter of fact, this and this is nothing new, man, because I remember when shit, how long ago was this? I don't think any of you brothers was around at this time. So it was a while ago. We had this guy who called himself Johanna. And he called me on the phone and he was like, Man, the apostles are going off. And I and I was for 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 days, I was fucked up in my mind because I was I was I, I wanted to I wanted to keep the peace with him because he was in the camp with us, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to go against the apostles. So my out man for for a few days, man, I had fallen into this. Uh, well, like the scripture just said, my soul was subverted, and that and I you can you can you can classify that like a like a depression. I was sad, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was sad about it, and then you know the spirit as it started revealing certain things. Uh, you know, I, I got the, I built up the confidence to speak to the elder Adama about it. And uh, he had been thinking about this dude the same way I had been thinking about this dude. And then uh, it just so happened that was around the time where the apostles started coming up here to, to visit every once in a while. And they was thinking the same thing about the guy. And they didn't even know the guy. They wasn't even, you know, around the guy like we were. So the spirit told me, like, look, you know, you, you did the right thing in, in holding off and and, you know, and maintaining what you had learned and who you learned it from. And then it so happened that that man was kind of, you know, you know, taken away, you know? That's right. Yeah, I got to always There's always somebody that wants to, I, and, and it may not even be to take the helm or to, to be the leader. It may not even be for that. It just may be that they don't, they have a problem themselves with authority. And try to try to dethrone the authority any way they can possible, you know. You know, yeah, I, I got a quick one. Uh, Titus uh, chapter one, verse nine to eleven, mm -hmm. and it reads, uh, "Holding fast the faithful word, as he, as he have been taught, that he may be able that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, mm -hmm. for there are many unruly and vain talkers mm -hmm. deceit." Uh, especially they of the circumcision who right followed. right the, the the vain talkers they have the circ those are the ones that are supposed to know what they're supposed to do <laughs> especially they have the circumcision those that are of the body these guys are supposed to know what they're doing but these are the the biggest culprits yeah 
There's yeah. a lot of a lot of that is going on, man. These are these are men that were heads of camps that are getting wiped out. Now all of a sudden they want to do uh, exposés. You're a you're a demon. You're supposed to know at, at the very least. Keep your integrity. Keep your integrity at the very least. Fine, you don't you don't fuck with us no more. But at the very least, be a man about it. Don't go. Don't become a tattler now that you're not with us. You now you're a tattler. Now tattling is okay. You're a demon. Uh, verse eleven: Whose mouths must be stopped? Mm -hmm. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy mm. lucre's sake? For filthy lucre's sake. Look up. Look up filthy lucre. Let's see what that says. Pull that up, Karab, if you can. Well, All right, so it's, it's broken down in two words. So, mm -hmm. this is, uh... All right, so that's right. the uh, right. filthy. It says filthy baseness or dishonor. Fil filthy baseness, and the and the biggest one, dishonor. Right. See what lucre is. Gain, 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 just gain or advantage, mm -hmm. right? In, in, but in a dishonorable way. If look, the scriptures tell you, they that are abased shall be shall shall be made abound. How does that scripture go? Uh, exalted. Those that yes, exalted. They, they, those are abased shall be exalted, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you if you if you become abased, right, and you and you keep your humility and you maintain that, the Lord is going to exalt you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You don't have to break your integrity or compromise your integrity to be exalted. You know? Ain't nothing worse to me, man. This has always been a pet peeve of mine. Someone that is, instead of meeting the standard wants to take the standard out. That's what Esau does, man. Yeah. Instead of being able to compete they, or, or, or to go word for word with the person, they'll discredit the person. That's what Esau is doing with Kyrie. That's what Esau is doing with Kanye. This other guy, Tate. That's a that's a characteristic of the devil. Yeah. To bad mouth the authority, not and then they'll say, "Oh, I, I'm not trying to be the ruler. I'm not trying to be the leader." But you're bad mouthing the authority and you're bad mouthing the leader. You indirectly are saying that that's what you want to do, but you're not man enough to take that spot. So you just do it by bad mouthing who the authority already is. You know, I got, I got, I got another one. Uh, Hebrews thirteen, mm -hmm. verse seventeen, mm -hmm. reads, "Watch it, build." It says, "Obey, obey them that have them." Somebody, uh, somebody, hold on deck. Um, what's this? Uh, First Corinthians uh, nine and twenty-four. Uh, matter of fact, but when you go in there, you know, I'm gonna probably gonna read up a little bit. Let me look at this. So lucky. I, I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. No, nah, that's all good. It's all good. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, you can start at 24. But go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Read that one you got and then go to uh, 1 Corinthians 9. All right. This is uh, Hebrews 13 <laughs> and 17. It says, obey them that have uh, that have the rule over you and submit right. yourselves. Right. And that's, the, and that's the problem. You got You got people that are not willing to submit themselves to the people who have rule over them, man. It's, it's okay. It don't make you less of a man. But it is what's required in order to maintain the order, man. You have to submit yourselves. It can't be about you. And and the heavenly Father sent His Son down here as an example. He didn't. He didn't say. He didn't say to himself, um, "I, I want to do this and I want to do that." He said, "As the Lord willeth, or as it is written." Mm -hmm. He didn't make it about himself. You have to submit yourselves to the will of what's going on. And in our case, in our cases, we got to submit ourselves to the authority that's been established, man. We have to. It's necessary. In order for this thing to move and to be uh, in order and to be concise, you have to forget about the things that you want to do. That's why the scriptures say, he that loses his life shall it's find okay. it. Yeah. It's not about you. Okay. Right. Hey, uh, real quick, Elder, 
just to add mm-hmm. on real quick too, mm-hmm. it showed that those men that were set in that position of authority was fit for the job. Right? They was mm-hmm. fit to carry that load. And you have mm-hmm. men, as the famous saying, my parents used to tell me, uh, don't fold your eyes before your stomach, which mm. means that, uh, uh, um, you see a position that you want it, and then you get put in that position, you can't handle it. Right. You can't can't it. Yeah, exactly. You can't finish it. You can't do what was necessary. But you mm-hmm. was eyeballing and seeing what others was doing, and you think you can you can do that same job. That's not what it is. You have your yep. own life. As I say, yep. less is more. It's whatever is for you is for you. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Let's let's right. keep going with this one here. I like this scripture here. Con it says, "Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch over your soul." And, and uh, me, um, I'm sorry to cut you off again, bro. I, I got to say this because it says, uh, "For they watch over your souls." Me and uh, um, Elder Adama, we were speaking uh, to each other. And he said, you know, all these people, they, they got a problem with what Elder Apostle Zahar says and what he does. But all he wants is for you to be saved. And I, and I, and I, and that's, and put so much perspective, um, or let me say it this way, added so much perspective for me. Because it's, it's that simple. This is a man who has been uh, given the authority to watch over many souls. And all he wants is for those souls to make it, man. So he, he, he gives you, he gives you the formula that he's been following his whole life. That's and it's and it's that simple, and the all the apostles fit into that. They just they just want to see the men of the Lord and the, uh, to they want to see them, uh, in so many words, succeed, right? To make it, and that's it, uh, man. Just uh, like you, you, just like you, when you when you are set in authority over your children, when you come down on your children, you don't you don't come down on your children because you hate them. You don't come down on your children because you don't like them or you're mad at them necessarily. You come down on your children because you want them to be successful. Mm-hmm. Right? And sometimes you, as a child, you don't understand what your father's telling you to do. You don't understand why your father got to be so hard and why he got to, why he's mean. And quote, unquote, why he's mean. You don't understand it when you're a child. You don't start to understand those things until you become a man and you get older. Right? But all of us, we're in the stead of children. And we have fathers that have been placed over us and, and, and expressed to us how we should how we're supposed to move about this thing, man. But you got people that don't like the they don't like that authority. And that's why they disperse. That's why they part ways. They don't like authority. And really they don't they don't even know how to have someone in authority over their lives, man. You know. I'm going to finish, finish this off. This is, as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that mm-hmm. that is unprofitable for, for you. Mm-hmm. That's it on that. You said yeah, uh, um, 1 Corinthians 9, right? 1 Corinthians. Oh, right? no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Um, go, no, go go back to that, that scripture. Okay, come on, come on. Gotcha. And read that, that 18th verse. All right, this is verse 18. He this is, this is, this is, this scripture is on my mind all the time. This 18, I, I haven't been able to uh, get the wording together so I can look for it. But I think about this scripture. I'll read this, please. Verse 18. Huh. Verse 18, it says, pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience and all right. things willing to live honestly. Right. You got to understand something. We, 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 in our conscience, think we're doing the right things. And if you believe that the Heavenly Father set up the apostles and the, and, the, and the bishops and the elders, if you believe that, then pray for them. So that in their con- in their in their consciousness, in that in that they're thinking they're doing the right things, that the Heavenly Father continues to endow them with the right things. Don't just be a dickhead. Pray for them. That's, that's and that's what we that's been the the the, the, the theme of this. Prayer and scriptures, man. But pray for those men. Don't be an asshole. They, they, okay, they said something you didn't like. All right, pray for them. You, you, got, you got guys, they forget about what the scriptures say. The scriptures talk about uh, if, 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 uh, if you, what, what to do when your brother offends you. <laughs> but, you but they forget about that when something hurts their feelings, man. The authority is what it is. And it's not, and it's, and it's not going to change. <laughs> It's not, it's not going to be different. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to have one of these guys that, uh, that left amongst us. Now they're the heads and we got to all sweep sweep away and go. To, it's not going to happen, man. The authority was set many years ago. 
And you got to stick with that, man. You stick with that, you know. He's in First Corinthians nine. You said like twenty four, correct? Uh, what did I say? I think it was twenty four. You yeah. see like the little the little hash mark there. Start there. You got you got it talking on uh, talking war. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I bring it up. Huh. Uh, yeah, twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Con uh, First Corinthians nine verse uh, twenty four. Mm-hmm. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but mm-hmm. one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Right. This is the scripture that came to mind when, when Tazi Alpha was speaking a little while ago. It came to mind. Look, we at the end of this thing, man. Yeah. So so run run that you may obtain. Meaning when you get when you get on that last leg of the race, you don't slow down. Right? Mm-hmm. You don't you don't stop in the middle of the race to tie your shoe. No. You gotta you gotta run. And you gotta run hard, man, because those other racers, those other people that are on that track with you are trying to beat you, man. So you run so that you can obtain. Keep going. Con, verse five, and Karab. every man is striving for, for the oh, master. Karab, Karab wants something to say. Nah, to lock it. Nah, because what you saying now, it remind me of the story of the tortoise, the tortoise and the hare. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what, what made the hare lose the race is that distraction. You know, mm-hmm. his mind was occupied on something else. And like you said, we at the end of the mm-hmm. race. Like you can't mm-hmm. be dibbling, dabbling, and, and taking heed to other stuff when we have to finish what we, uh, what we set up to do. Right. So so the, the distraction, as well as he was going too fast, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was going he was going he was going too fast. You know, let's keep going. Kind of verse 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Mm-hmm. Now, do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we in an incorruptible. Right. So he's saying he's he's, he's saying um, to, to be temperate in all things. Right. Now they, the ones that are running the race, they do it to obtain an un- inco- incorruptible. I mean, I'm sorry, a corruptible crown. Like, it, who cares that you want a race? But us, right? We do it to receive an, uh, an incorruptible crown. But we, the, but the tenets are still the same. The principles are still the same. Run that you may obtain. Be temperate, right? Strive for the mastery. All those things are 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 those principles are the same, and they're the same for us too, right? But we don't get to the end of the race to start changing things up, man. The Lord, the Lord is getting ready to return. We why change things up now, you know? You want me to continue? Um, not, that was that was what I want. Let me let me let me look at it real quick. Yeah, keep going. Uh, verse twenty six. Uh, verse twenty six. Uh, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that. Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Read the next verse. Con, but I keep under my body and mm-hmm. bring it into subjection. Right, but I keep yeah. under my body and bring it into subjection, not just to the discipline, right, of of uh, the the internal discipline, but the external discipline too, mm-hmm. because the the external discipline that we get from the apostles and elders teach us how to discipline ourselves internally, right. When you, when you, when you, when you got, you, you got to, this is why it's important to have kids, man. Cause you get to, you, you get to, uh, um, you get to see what the scriptures are saying, right? When you, when you have a child, discipline is the last thing they know. They, they know nothing about discipline. All kids want to do is play, run and jump. That's all kids want to do. You are there as the parent to provide the external discipline. The discipline from outside of themselves. And once they get used to that external discipline, they learn inside how to say, okay, you know what? This there's there's pain that comes with this action. So now they learn to internally discipline themselves. So there's times where I make my kids sit down. They're not in trouble. They're not in trouble. They didn't do anything wrong, but I make them sit down for stretches of time so they start to understand, okay, look, okay, 7 30, it's almost time for bed. We need to wind down a little bit. And that's where they, they learn that. But they learn it first from the external discipline. And that's what the apostles are. The mm. apostles are that external discipline so that we can learn to discipline ourselves internally. So that, that subjection is not just to, the, to, to yourself or to the discipline or to the mastery that you're trying to obtain. But it's also being in subjection to that external discipline, that's, which is going to teach you the internal discipline, you know? Keep going, at least by any means. Yep, less, by, less that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. 
Right. That's right. That's right. So, that, so, in, so in other words, you 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 keep yourselves in subjection to the discipline, so that you that you're not teaching people to. You, so, in other words, you got people that say it this way. They'll say, uh, "Do as I do as I say, not as I do." But what he's saying here is, if he's keeping in subjection, he's also he's doing and saying, right? So that he won't himself be a cashier, you know. Yeah. Well, let me see what else I got pulled up here for scriptures, and then uh, we could get a couple more and cut down. I got to get back into work. Um, go to um Galatians two and four. This is the book of Galatians 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. says, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which mm -hmm. we have in Hamashiach Yahushai, that they might bring us into bondage. So, mm -hmm. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. All right. So you got you got certain you got certain men who creep in. They creep in and they spy out our liberties, right? And then the moment they see something they don't like, now they want to do an expose, man. Yeah. You know? And that's and that's become the theme as of late. A bunch of exposés. Well, really, you you I I'm trying to refrain from saying it, but you're the you're the B word. I'll say it that way. You you are you are the ultimate B word. <laughs> you had a problem all this time and now you wanna now you all of a sudden you wanna do expose. You're a, you're an asshole, man. It's late in the game for that. You, 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 like you it's like you you know your wife you, you you arguing with her and she'll bring up some shit you did. She'll be like, Oh, just like you just like you did that thing, right? And you be like, damn, what now you throwing off guard, you're like, damn, when did I say that? Or when did I do that? And now you're trying to now you're trying to wrap your mind around something that she thought she from ten years ago she done brought up. That's you. You are acting like the B word when you do that. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> All right. So let's. Well, um, well, let me see one more scripture. Um, uh, Jude uh, one one and four, and that'd be it. You said Jude. Yeah. God. Uh, Jude 1 and uh, 4. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want me to start up or you want me to get straight to the point? Uh, you just go right to it, one of the four verses. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Right. So this, men. so this is this is their lot, man. Yeah. This is what they this is what they were brought here to do. You know, to be complainers and, 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 and backbiters, right? Keep going. Con, ungodly men turning the grace of our power into mm -hmm. lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. And denying. Lasciviousness. It's all right. It's all right, Ephraim. It's all right, brother. <laughs> and denying. Shema Fult. Mephibosheth. Yeah. Lock it, man. It's all right. It's all right. It's all good, brother. Uh, men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying. The only Lord Power, and or the Lord Yahweh, and the and the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right, you see, and that's ultimately what they're doing. They think they're they're denying uh, men, but really they're, they're denying the Spirit of the Lord because He's the one that set up uh, what we got going on here. He's the one that set up His body. That's all right, right, so that's it, man. That, that's that's all I got. Um, um I, I appreciate you, brothers. Let me let me um, join in with y'all, man. Uh, uh, you uh, with that being said, we want to give all praises as always to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechak uh, Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honor and salutation to the elect. And with that, we say Shalom. 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 All right, brothers. I'll catch you on the flip side. All right. All right.